Hello guys, welcome back to Maybelline's Makeup Loft. My name is Sarah Louise Brown. Today I'm going to be showing you a natural makeup look incorporating Maybelline's Dream Urban Cover Foundation. Now, this foundation has been life-changing for me. It has SPF of 40 in it, which is amazing, and is full of antioxidants, which help protect against pollution. It is a lightweight formula, and it has an amazing foundation finish. It gives me such a nice glowy and dewy look without looking too oily, which is perfect for summer when you just want to look like you have a healthy glow. This foundation is available now in 10 shades. I have three shades, which I like to work my way through depending on the range of my tan throughout the season. Now, the amazing thing about this product is that even when the sun's not out, when the sun's away, you still can be penetrated by the UV rays. So when you are wearing this foundation, you don't have to think about putting on SPF because it already is inbuilt in the foundation. And that's a big factor because I'm all about the skin protection. So make sure to subscribe to Maybelline's makeup channel if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. But without further ado, let's just jump into the video. So to start, I'm going in with the Maybelline Face Studio Hydrating Primer. This one does have hyaluronic acid in it. So I'm just going to be putting that all over my face just to add some moisture into the skin. Now for the star of the show, I've got three shades here. These are the three shades that I tend to alternate depending on whether I'm fake tanned or not. And so the tanner shade that I use is 228 Soft Tan, followed by 220 Natural Beige. That's when my tan's kind of fading or when I've got a bit of a glow throughout summer. And then finally, I have 120 Classic Ivory. And this is the shade I use when I don't have any fake tan on, but I still want a foundation that's going to match my skin tone. So the shade I'm going to be using today is 220 Natural Beige. You can apply this with a sponge or a brush. I'm just going with a brush today because I simply have forgotten to wet my beauty blender. So it comes in a squeezy little tube, which I think is perfect for getting the product out because sometimes shaking the product out of a container can get a little messy. And I'm just gonna dab this around my face. And this product just blends in so well, especially when paired with that hydrating primer. The reason why I also love this product is I think a little bit can also go a long way because it does blend so effortlessly. And as you can tell, that was one small thin layer of the product put on and you still have that glossy, hydrated, glowy look. Perfect for summer, but if you want to go even more full coverage, you can put a second layer on, which is what I kind of um, swap between doing throughout summer. Recently, I've been doing just this nice light layer, but then if I've got like a nice dinner or lunch that I'm attending to, I will, I will double layer it and you still get that nice glowy natural look as well. So I'll put on a little bit more um, and I'll show you how that looks. There you go. That is literally like, I've fallen in love with this foundation. I've just been absolutely loving this product, wearing it almost every day when I decide to wear foundations. It's so easy, quick, um, it blends together so effortlessly and yeah, it just makes your skin look so great. It's also a really lightweight consistency where I don't feel like I've got foundation on my skin at the moment. It just feels like I've got like a nice hydrating moisturizer on. Next, I'm going in with my classic fave, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm in the shade 20 Sensei. For this, I'm just putting a bit underneath my eyes just to brighten up the face even more and just a little bit down my nose and a dab on the chin. Then I'm just taking a blending sponge and pressing that in. And I like to bring the concealer from my nose up into the middle of my eyebrows. Some days I like to leave the skin just with the foundation and concealer and other days I do like to set it all in place and give it a little bit more of a matte effect. To do that, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and this one is in the shade 20 Light Medium. I find even when I do apply this powder, the foundation still seems to shine right through, which is amazing. So it still keeps that dewy property there, even though you've just put a mattifying powder over the top. So as you can tell, I've set my face, yet I'm still glowing through that mattifying powder. I do like to really focus the powder on my cheek area, just because when I do add extra products on my face, it's normally around the cheek areas, and I don't want it to kind of stick to one area when I am applying it. Next, I'm going in with the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade Light Cool, and I'm just going to hit this on my cheekbones and then other areas of my face just to give it a bit of a warm up. Around the forehead as well, just to add a little bit of dimension. Now I'm going to be hitting my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Blush. This one's in the shade 35 Coral. Now for brows, I'm taking the Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil, and I'm in the shade Soft Brown. Mascara, I'm going in with the OG fave, the Maybelline Colossal Express Volume Mascara. And I'm just going to be doing that on the tops of my lashes. And this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Bye guys.